you for letting them through. I said, bro, I'm not down south no more. Yeah, completely. Oh, yeah, said, thank definitely. you. Cannot believe. Cannot absolutely believe. Someone told me they're so much more friendly up here and like say hello to you yeah, on the street. Yeah, up, up north, they're mad friendly. Up north, mad friendly. All right, I'll let you go. Peace out, boo. All right, bye. hotel room here in Liverpool the hotel looks super cool it has like a backyard area a rooftop a restaurant and bar all kinds of stuff so Sylvie just got done with her work stuff so we're gonna go explore for a little bit until it's time to meet uh, Alex for dinner um, in about two hours or so so yeah just from walking around outside a little bit Liverpool already looks like a vibe I am so excited to be here first time here so Let's see what the city has in store for us. Here's our hotel room. Everything was booked super last minute, so that's why we have one bed, y'all. We had to get the cheapest option because this trip was so last minute. But it's a very nice size room. It has a nice little storage and rail space over here for our stuff. TV on the wall. Let's see, there's no balcony, but you can still see out there. So it's not on right now for some reason, but that's a TV screen back there. And I think you could like watch the game out there. Yeah. It wasn't even supposed to rain today. Low key. Low key. I was not planning for this. Rain. Delicatessen. I love that word. Delicatessen. You stay ready though with umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, because where do I live? England. I stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. But it'd be the cheap Primark umbrella that can't do anything. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just wanted to tell you something. What you wanna tell them? <laughs> what are you telling them? <laughs> so before we got here, Sylvie was telling me how people really do it up here. Like they get dressed up, all of that. And I have already seen, just walking down the road, the ladies got the heels on, it's not even six o'clock yet. She's like. No, but they're not just heeled, they are full fleek, full fleek. Okay, Liverpool, they, they showing up, showing out. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here in the truck seat and a hat. <laughs> to have some fish and chips and Sylvie has brisket and Yorkshire pudding it and it's proper. Well, underneath, <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, no, 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 no,
Did I get my shirt? <laughs> We're having a real English um, dinner tonight. We're up north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Courtyard, bar, and kitchen. You still have generalized classes the first one to two years, and then you get the specials. Okay, yes. Okay, that so was they're like thing. holding your hand the whole time. They're like, do you like mine? Do you want to be a doctor? Hold this. <laughs> Prove to me you want to be a doctor. now day two here in Liverpool we are about to head out now to go get some lunch it's about 12 30 um I know Sylvie's hungry because she has not ate much at all I was a bit sensitive last night <laughs> she wasn't feeling well but back at it again I'm gonna give you guys a little OOTD let's get it okay so here is my OOTD I got this dress from Nasty Gal. I love it. Love how long it is. A little off the shoulder situation. Ready to hit the town. idea where we were gonna go but we just walked up on this random restaurant and it's actually really cute and has a nice vibe they got good music plan can't talk too long because copyright but I just want to let y'all know We are making our way into Albert Dock. Let me not get hit by a car. That's not the goal for today. Um, yeah, we're making our way into Albert Dock, which is on the water. <laughs> I don't really know what's over here, but it looks cool. A lot of museums, I think. Um, Take gallery and stuff. Galleries, yeah. We're Albert Dock. It's Yes. Oh, see, look, this is where we're meant to go tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to a museum tomorrow. So. At least we know how to get here tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> we randomly stumbled upon this.
here, you have to wait in a very long queue. I mean, nope, don't want to go on Zara that bad. <laughs> actually isn't feeling well today so I haven't seen her um, you guys may have noticed that she wasn't in today's clips but um, yeah and Sylvie decided that she really wanted to go to the movies today I personally wanted to continue exploring I feel like I can go to the movies in London but I mean it's her vacation too she could do whatever she wants to with her time one of you guys recommended that I check out the vintage shops on Bow Street so that's what I've been doing so far I ended up buying a new denim jacket um, for me personally, the vintage shops outside of Chicago are always way overpriced. So, yeah, I wasn't trying to do too much. I got the jacket for $12.99 and I feel like at home I could have gotten it for like $3, but it is what it is. Since I moved abroad to London by myself, I really have begun to appreciate my alone time and solitude a lot more. So I don't mind doing things by myself. Um, so when Sylvie said she wanted to go to the movies, that was not an issue for me. I was like, okay. I'm gonna keep it pushing. <laughs> and yeah, y'all, I've been having a lot of fun just walking around, getting my steps in. <laughs> y'all, this seagull just feels like hanging out with us today. Just minding my own business, laying on the bed. He lands so hard on, on the uh, windowsill. He screams. And then Sylvie comes over here wanting to open the door for him so he can come in and hang out with us. Last week it was the fox, now it's the seagull. We're like the, the animal whisperers. Oh my gosh, you like Dr. Doolittle. Okay. Don't play. Don't <laughs> play. Because look how he wants to come in. Like he there's, there's glass separating us, you know that? There's oh, is glass, it? There's two glasses. Oh, but I still don't. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look, genuinely, look. Because that part's open at the top. No, what do you think he's going to fly up? Yes! What do you mean? If, it if you're going to do that, I need to leave the room. Have you ever eaten a seagull? No, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. You want to cook it? Is that what you're trying to tell me right no, now? No, no, no. Look at him. What are you going to name him? Um. Um, I don't know. How about Shelton? Shelton the Seagull. This is Shelton the Seagull. Shel He's hanging Shelton's out thinking. with us. What do you think about Shelton as a name? No? Yeah? Okay. He's thinking about it. Hey y'all. So, we're at dinner. And we have come to realize that... Thank you. We have come to realize that you cannot come to Liverpool without booking things ahead. That's restaurants for dinner, that's going out at night. If you don't have a reservation or a table booking, you're not going to be doing anything. So, we even tried to go to the restaurant in our hotel and they said that it was all booked up. So, we're at this random pizza place, which I don't mind, but it would have been nice to go somewhere, you know, fancy and cute. You know, but you got one reservation for tomorrow, right? I did get a reservation for tomorrow at a restaurant called Bougie because I did that 
a couple of days ago. But yeah, if you're being last minute like us, no good, no good. So I definitely think I'm gonna have to come back to Liverpool in the future and really, really plan it out, have everything super booked up. Because it's a super fun city. It seems like good vibes all around. Everyone's friendly, good energy, but we just can't get in anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. How you feel about that? It's annoying. Liverpool, Liverpool's lady. I mean, I'm good. I went to the cinemas today, so. <laughs> She having a turn, uh, turn down auntie trip. I was trying to get litty. I thought we were litty committee. Listen, and I, we got I, people wanting I'm to order I'm Uber Eats and go to the cinema. Oh. So yeah. This is Liverpool. Paige and Sylvie back again. What up, what up? It is day three in Liverpool and we are on our way right now to the International Slavery Museum. Sylvie um, is the one who made these plans. You wanna explain, you know, how you heard about it, why you wanna go? Well, obviously we know why we wanna go. Well, the history, so but. I'm I'm just very big on cultural, cultural experiences. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I don't usually like learning about slavery I don't watch the films or any of that yeah. stuff but to have it in so Liverpool has a large part to play with the transatlantic slavery trade being a big port so I think that it's good that they recognize definitely who what where when so I want to go and see who what where when one one exactly <laughs> a lot of you all recommended that we check it out and we were already going anyway so we'll let you know how it is we're gonna give you our review the mm -hmm. real real the mm -hmm. real I can't see girl it's a little sunny <laughs> Alex is a pro. 
camera as y'all can see. Pick that right up. like I am watching the game after all with these two lovely ladies um, we cannot get a booking anywhere outside as you guys probably already guessed but it's fine because we're having our own little party here we went to the store and got snacks it's been lovely we went through a little bit of drama but we all good now it's a little bit straightening and it's sorted you guys have anything to say about the game um so England are currently 1-0, just half gone half time. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> England putting up a good fight. Italy is coming with the aggress aggressiveness mm -hmm. and like their instinct as a team. England seems like kind of a slow tortoise kind of vibe, mm -hmm. like slow and steady. We wanna try to set like set the tone of the game and make it slower. I'm gonna need England. boring. I'm gonna need England to turn it up. It up. Oh, <laughs> AKA Sterling. <laughs> What they said. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> Every so often we're like Paige was a commentary. She's like, you have anything to say? Go team. <laughs> go team, go. Yay. Give me an E. Give me an N. Give me G L A N D. What's that sound? England. Woo! Yay. <laughs> Y'all, this is the longest game in life. In life. We're on an extra 29 minutes so far. This is Honestly. crazy. Rashford! One to one, y'all. Well. Oh, God. The streets ain't talking oh, no more. no, that's poor baby. Don't worry, Saka, you got more years, baby. He's gonna be crying for years to come. Oh, God, that's... Sweet bit, oh god. Oh god, yeah, everybody's gonna need some hugs. Sylvie's really excited y'all because we are at the Liverpool Stadium. Um, I, I guess she's a fan? I'm a family fan. Okay. Family okay. Fan. <laughs> so in Liverpool there's two big teams. There's Liverpool which are red and there's Everton that are blue. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the people will like proper be. Mm. So like some man came up to me in Liverpool. One well, knows where my trousers yesterday, you know my red ones? Mm -hmm. He was like, I love your trousers. He was like, but I'm an Everton fan. Oh, he was like, that's what he was saying. Yeah. So they're blue, but he was like, I love the trousers, they look amazing. Wow. It was really weird. I was like, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the new so this is the this is the goalie kit. Oh yeah. First team. And then the second one hasn't come out yet.
I usually get my name, I get my surname put on the back. Oh, cute. Hey y'all, so we just got done visiting Liverpool Stadium as you can see and now we are on our way to Abbey Road which was made famous by the Beatles. So hopefully we can go there and get a cute picture. Sylvia got her photos that she wanted at Guys, Liverpool Stadium. Guys, it was Anfield Stadium, Liverpool Football oh, Am Club. Oh, Anfield Stadium. <laughs> Okay. Get it right. Obviously, Get it right. as you guys know, I could care less. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there you go. Um, Anfield Stadium, and now we're going to Abbey Road. Any that corrections on that? <laughs> Let me know. Hey, tell the people what is Abbey Road. Abbey Road is that road the Beatles are walking on <laughs> in that famous photo al album cover. Um, some of so you know, I think a lot of the Beatles people are originally from Liverpool. There you have yeah, it. They are. Yeah. This is why we hang out with. There's also a, a, a like a coffee shop called like the Beatles Coffee Shop or something mm -hmm. where they do coffees with the Beatles pictures. Very cute. In the in how the, creepy. Yeah, when I went to go look <laughs> at the souvenir shop and look at postcards, they had like ones with Beatles, the Beatles all on it. So, yeah, definitely a Beatles city. So that makes sense. Um, yeah. At all. Well, that makes perfect sense because Alex was like, "This don't look like it fits in." Mm -mm. Confusion. Mm -hmm. me. Yeah, because like, look at the look. That looks completely different from this area, even back then. I mean, look, like this tree. That's what I was looking for. This looks like the ends. Okay, y'all. So I've been bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> People need to stop commenting stuff. One of my no. <laughs> one of my subscribers commented and said, "Make sure you visit Abbey Road while you're in Liverpool." And I assumed it was like the famous like abbey road like uh where the beatles were walking on that like crossing or whatever i thought that's where we were going but apparently it's just like regular houses that's where they had their studio and where that photo was taken is actually in london <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> maybe you can insert a clip of you in london you right in london and one day like, i'll go visit go. in london because um i was like okay i'll definitely go check it out <laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. So, anyways, <laughs> we got to do one of the two things we thought we were doing today. Um, Sylvie got to go to Anfield. That's how you say it? Anfield Stadium. Stadium. And, uh, yeah, so now we are off to Manchester. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah. But I'm. Oh, uh, that was weak. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. no I'm, yes. We're going to Toxteth first, oh, actually, yeah. in Liverpool. Okay, go ahead. We're going to find ourselves a Caribbean cafe because... We need rice and peas. We need some rice and peas and proper food in every city. Seen cabbage. Every city. <laughs> we yeah. gotta unlock. And check ins not till later anyway. So that's on one thirty. So we go into Ragged's Caribbean Cafe and we'll let you know how that tastes. Still be thinking to touch out. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna let you know how that tastes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then after we're done eating, we're going to head to Manchester. Um, I've been there once before for like two days, so I'm excited to go back and see anything I may have missed, explore a little bit more, and bada boom, bada bam. Manchester has a lot of museums. That's why I've been. Oh, there. I, I have they not have, gone to the museums there. They have some like art museums, and hmm. they have like a history museum that was made by the same people who made the Natural History Museum in London. Oh, well, so, maybe we'll check that out. They have skulls nice, nice. and stuff, and live animals there. That's that's a bit of me. <laughs> that's a bit of me. <laughs> I want to go to the to the history the museum. Scientist and Alex <laughs> just yeah. went. Like, oh, oh. It was that fling. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll we'll definitely check that out. As well as a little bit of shopping, because y'all know that's a bit of me. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Some of it is a lot. <laughs> 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 Alright, checking with you guys later. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.